before there was a period when it was like the average set was like four to five sets a night. You wanna know what the average set is now? It's like Round six four. to seven. <laughs> and it just keeps going up. Yeah. Well, I have stamina to play these sets. I am running out of it. <laughs> because again, I'm not competing. If I was in shape, this would have been no problem. One, two. All right. Nate got buffed indeed. Round two. He demoted me. Oh no! It's okay. You'll get him back next time. That's the rank life. You just keep playing it until you, you you're able to solidify the rank. Like yes, I am this rank. I've I've stopped other people from demoting me. Uh, Whiff, please. Thank you. I tried. I don't know. I'm just pressing too much. Well, for me, the main adjustment I do against that player is to maximize frames. You actually did that in your streak, but you didn't keep it consistent. Because they're, what do you call this? Your opponent, it was playing at his own pace. And doesn't really mind you as much. But I didn't want to say that on stream. <laughs> and I didn't want to comment that. I was like, yeah, let him figure it out. It's part of the process. He's doing the thing. He's, he's gathering information. And then when you start getting it, I was like, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> well, the strength of Prime Frontier is still someone who cannot win a tournament. So uh, not much of a difference between current Frontier and, uh, in quotation marks, Prime Frontier. <laughs> I don't think that was even my Prime, man. Because there's a lot of factors to take into play already. Like, for me, I've been doing this for years, man. I got, you asked the question. Is it worth it? Remember I went on a an extended break. I said I was going to take a one week break before. And then that turned into three weeks. <laughs> because I was asking myself, was it worth it? And that was for... That was for this. That was for content. Streaming, etc. And I was only doing that for what? A year and five months? Or four months before? So it wasn't a year and six months. Which is what it's currently at right now. A year and... Yeah, it's a year and six months. If you don't count July. Because once July is done, then it's ready for that. Seven months. Oh, you can see the comments now? Beautiful. Maybe it's because of the outro. It's like the Jack outro, right? Jack 7 outro. And I'm not one who enjoys being at a very high level without purpose. I mean, I can get it for other people. Like, for those who really love the game that they're playing, even if they're not earning any money out of it or whatever. Like, they just love competing in it or, you know, being at that level. For me, I like connecting things together. If I'm gonna put a lot of effort, which I've had for years. <laughs> I mean, don't you think five years is a lot of time? You got this good, and you still can't win a tournament. Is it worth it at that point to continue competing? I don't know. Just throwing back the question back at you. Let's say if you're at that point in your career. I mean, you could still play the game. I'm still playing the game. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing content. I'm streaming. I'm helping out the community. That's like the main, complete, singular goal of doing this. But for, for myself, I don't know. I'm a main. You're gonna main Huang now, bro. You enjoyed Huang more. It's because you can press buttons more, and your opponents are what do you call that? They they ain't doing the anti Huang, right? I know there's some comments I missed. So I'll get back to it in a bit. F3, rage art. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. Your Wi-Fi. I forgot. It was so smooth that I forgot it was Wi-Fi. I got it right. Okay, that lol means I got it right. Maybe it's the burnout. Yeah, probably. Maybe you just need a change of pace, right? And then eventually come back to, to Brian with your newfound knowledge. Because there was a time for me where, before, I was struggling to make a breakthrough with Horang and like get better with him. And I thought that a secondary was super important, which it is. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So I found Miguel. And Miguel got better for me, and then eventually everything I learned from Miguel was able to transfer over back to Hora. Yeah, okay, that was a bad idea. It's a bad option. I was just confident that my opponent was going to do something that keeps them standing. It's cheese time here. Wait. <laughs> well, it's good evening for me. Because again, we are based in the Philippines. Ooh. Press. Yep. Round three. Indeed. Fight. You were at, at an interview. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is one of the times where you call that reading and playing at the same time is difficult. I literally just ignored the game and then next thing you know I'm losing a bunch of HP here. <laughs> you gotta balance the two. Oh, the AOP again from first Genesis. Currently at his final form. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, Wi-Fi! Okay, 1-0. Oh. I was at an interview a while ago that said, yeah, if you can't hack it, it's for our, our locals mainly. You won't be able, not unless you'll be able to go to like, let's say, Humble Breaker, CEO, etc. Or any other, BAM, whatever. The mix-up. But if you can't make, if you can't go to those, you, go, you try to go to yours. Your region's major. Because it's not just gonna be games. And it's like the atmosphere and, the, and all that kind of stuff. It's a special, it's a really special event. It's worth it, even if you don't think. Death, death worth it. Both times I attended Rev Major. So the first Rev Major I attended was 2018, not 2017. I didn't. What, did I place high? I was top 64. And then the next Rev Major I was top 128. <laughs> but it was worth it. Those experiences were worth it. Ooh, back one. And some and sometimes there's limited merch. What happens? What happens to this merch, man? The merch, <laughs> limited edition merch. You can't you can't miss out on those. Your favorite player could be coming. You want to take a picture? You want to get an autograph? Worth it. Worth it. Nothing can replace that. Your 1K will be spent well. Oh. Who are you rooting for this rev? Us, obviously. I'd like to see us win. <laughs> Any one of us from our country. You gotta defend the land, right? Because the past rev majors, we haven't been able to. Of course, I'm not helping out there by what he called this, not competing. <laughs> That's like minus one player from the pool. Mario loves cheese. Yeah, exactly, just going, even just spectating. How did you become a top fan, really? You just gotta interact with the page, man. <laughs> exactly, go to rev major. If you can, of course. Priorities first as per usual. If something comes up, you, then you're just gonna have to... You watch Rev Major live, that's what you do. You watch it on stream. So first, Genesis. Now, two all. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But again, as second season is back in action, if you'd like to have your first to one or... Up to up to first to ten reviewed by someone else. Feel free to fill up the free VOD review form, and I'll get back to you within one to two weeks with something very similar to the sample feedback in the Google form. Again, that that link is over at the stream overview. If that's something that interests you, we have ten players who have already done it. I'll take that. I bet he can help. I bet he can. Yeah, I can most likely can. I'll help you go. <laughs> no, you can meet. You can meet. Uh, who's going to? Well, it's not announced who's going to Rev Major yet, right? All we know is that Kwis wants to go. Is go. Is has plans to go to Rev Major. I know on his stream that's like one of his main goals. Like for all the donations, it's for Rev Major. So you can meet K-Wiss. He's also a Horang player. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. 
No punish. Another 50-50. First Genesis still has the Rage Drive on deck! And there you go. That's how typically it goes. I'm dead. 379 to 18. Part of this two digit club is first Genesis. I don't know, man. Ooh. You expect to see players who, for a lack of a better term, lack of a better term? No. Where was I going with that? No, I don't expect to see them at all. Ooh. Velo Horang enjoyers indeed. Like finally. We all we all press buttons. We all like down 3-4. You like Peacekeeper too? And then you take you you all take a picture together. Doing like flamingo. All your legs are up. <laughs> All those on the left side of the picture, left flamingo. All those on the right side, right flamingo. And then maybe the one in the middle, LFF and RFF. So that you get to complete the set. Oh no, if you want to complete the set, you need someone also doing what do you call this? Back turn LFF. <laughs> and back turn RFF. And then back turn left flamingo and back turn right flamingo. That's how many stances Huang actually has. I'll take that. Final round. I mean, I'm really lucky, huh? Fight. FF3? Oh no. Press a button. Thank you. I'm not sure. Because before I last Rev Major, if you just had a spectator's pass where you were not allowed to use what you call this, these setups at all. So I get. I would assume it's it works the same way this year. So you just have to pay the full amount if you want to play on the casual setups after the tournament. Exactly. You meet with one leg up. Maybe except uh, a comp. Maybe except hotel. Fight. Mm -hmm. That's one way to do it. I know there's gonna be a road to Rev Major in Pampanga later. Or is that already done? KO. And then there is... Round I know Defiant. Team Fight. Defiant having their own Road to Rev Major as well. I'm already cosplaying Horang. What are you talking about? My hair is literally like his. <laughs> Ooh, I'm dead. Request Armor King! Again, if there's a player within similar skill level, I'll do it. But... Looking at the current list of players right now that I have, it's not going to happen. Round three. Fight. Again, priorities first as per usual, Jif. You four. You gotta catch that AOP. Sneaky, sneaky AOP that avoids a lot of lows. Jif's love the kind of cheese. Not lows, mids. Oh, I'm safe. I love you, Tekken. I probably was pretty slow in that moment. One, two. JFSR. Alright. But again, this stream, Cheese Dojang, Road to Blue Cheese, and Dojang Exhibitions all operate as a stream. Would you have Horang's DF4 Ballerina on hit? It does Ballerina spin on hit, what are you talking about? It does Ball- oh wait, it used to Ballerina spin, I believe. I remember it Ballerina spinning. Why, oh, it doesn't Ballerina spin now? Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't. I, I don't mind it if it ballerina spins. It would make sense with the way the move, how the move works. No, I won two times, so the score's wrong. So it's I'm I'm at set point already then. I'm at set point. I'm at set point. So when I edit the video later, I'm like, what? Why? Did I, how did I get the score wrong? <laughs> this classic thing. So the game doesn't look fast to me anymore. It's just normal speed. I guess it's because I was on turbo for so long. My mind's like still adjusting. It's 4 2, 4 2, okay. Much thanks, Nate. Oh! AOP? Not AOP, down back 2. Yes, that high crush. 
that I would have been perfect in that situation against the RFS F4 cheese mix-up in season 4. I mean, but no, there is an explanation. He took a grenade for Jin, man. A grenade was thrown their way after Horang was playing, fight, playing, fighting against Devil Jin. And Huarang pushed Devil Jin aside. The oh, Devil Jin slash Jin aside. And then all, all that got affected to Huarang was his eye. Nothing else. I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Ooh, well, standing 4 4, where are you at? JF is on. Okay, I'll take that. No punish. There's a punish. Yeah, exactly. He caught a grenade for his boy, man. Three. The FFC galore. Backlash. Lock him in. Lock him in. Rage drive. No. Wait. Press a button. Press again. D4. <laughs> Alright. So since that was 4 2, and good games to first Genesis. Good games. I'm gonna Yep. 17 seconds. 17 seconds and Gary the Gazer. MJ loves cheese. Air raid. Air raid. Air raid. Air raid. 